Hey YouTube, welcome to the Off Grid Mountain Homestead. Got a review today of the Wubin Falcon X1 flashlight. Um, it's been about 45 days since I received this flashlight. I know from previous reviews, y'all like me to test this stuff out for a little while before I give my thoughts on it. So, for 45 days, I've been using this flashlight daily. You see, it's sitting right here in my tool bag, so it gets used every day. Um, real nice flashlight. Uh, here's the original packaging. I didn't do an unboxing because I took it out, throwed it straight in the in the work bag. Um, comes with a little pouch with a little uh, belt clip and stuff on the back, a little little hook. It's got drains in it. Nice little pouch. Um, I'll go over the specs in a minute, but let's show you the show you the flashlight first. So it fits perfectly in the side pouch of your work bag. So here's the flashlight right here. It's the Wubin X1 Falcon. So three huge LEDs on this bad boy with nice reflector in it. Uh, it's actually got a cooling fan in it. It puts out so much heat when you got it on the, the higher settings, if you will. Go over all that in just a second. So you can see it's got a 4,800 milliamp hour battery. So 35.52 watt hours. So really, really nice flashlight. It is a little bit heavy. It's uh, 13 ounces. So a little over a quarter of a pound, excuse me, three quarters of a pound of weight. So, you know, it's getting getting up there near, near a pound of added weight to your to your tool bag but we'll go over all the pro the you know pros and cons of it towards the later part of the video i even have some uh nighttime usage footage in here you have to bear with me on that section of it i did some night recording i don't know how it's going to present uh you know as cameras are hard to catch you know how good flashlights are at night especially a you know non-high dollar camera like i'm using but hey that's besides the point so anyhow um let's go over the specs on this bad boy first so let me uh let me try to zoom in here, hold it steady. We can go over everything. So it's got four modes. You got eco, low, medium, and high, and turbo. Now the turbo one is awesome. It only lasts for a minute before it turns, you know, turns itself back to high because it's it's so intense. And this little cooling little cooling fan here will come on when you put it in turbo mode. But it's bright. It's brighter than your lights on your car. I mean, it is it is bright. Literally, is a car with HID headlamps. That's how bright. It illuminates the the woods or whatever you're looking at under a house or inside a piece of equipment you're working on but you can see the run times um, I've charged it a few times it's USB-C so it charges pretty quick um, IP55 rating so you know protected from dust and ingress protected from uh, you know jet sprays it's not waterproof so you can't dip it in a, a big bucket of water and expect it to go but you know real tough aluminum frame on it lithium batteries uh, I mean just just nice comes a little lanyard and everything too so I'll go over the uh, the usage of it uh, how to how to set it up you know and all that good stuff when you first receive the flashlight it's locked from the factory it's got four see four clicks four quick clicks it's locked so nobody can nobody can turn it on so you can click it you know hold whatever it's not gonna come on so if you carry it in your tool bag like I do you know you're gonna be bumping it around you may want to put the, the lock on but you can do four quick clicks and it'll it'll come back on so to change the intensity we're just going to shine it right here because it's you know it's daylight if there's a mushroom let's shine on that mushroom right there so there's low then hold the button and it brings you up a, a step well i'm sorry you can be able to see that either let's go back here there you go so low hold the button medium hold it again high and then double click and it's turbo 12,000 uh, you should see it now check that out I mean this is in the in the daylight middle of the day and you can uh, you can see it shining shine down through the the bushes and stuff I'm gonna put it back on turbo double click and see if we can get the get the cooling fan to come on it's how long it takes yeah you know, it shouldn't be a few seconds because it's it's so hot you can't you can't hold your finger in front of it there you go the little fans on now can you hear that oh yeah so yeah she she keeps herself cool it'll stay on that turbo setting for a minute and it's also got let's see three clicks it's got a strobe so and then you just click back and go whatever your previous setting was a real intuitive control and it's got the little button here's got an indicator to tell you when when the battery's getting low which is it looks like it's time to charge it so you just one one click to shut it off and then you just click it once it's back to your setting and you hold just hold it down and it'll scroll through the settings which is pretty cool but this one if you're looking for let's say a conduit or something in, in a in a commercial building in a ceiling above a ceiling or something and 
you, you know your normal flashlight can't quite reach it well this one when you hit it on that turbo it's i mean it's like shining a 500 watt halogen through the through the ceiling wherever you're working at so you know real real handy for that now the weight you know it's, it's heavy so that adds a little bit of bulk to your you know carry that's that's a drawback you know that's the drawback and the other really only two drawbacks i see is um well three the weight it's not completely waterproof um i've had it in the rain but not you know submerged so i'm not trying to tear it up I'm trying to take decent care of it it's a good flashlight high quality um and then it doesn't have a magnet i wish it would have a magnet somewhere like maybe on this back section right here so you could you could stick it to a piece of equipment or something he's working on or you know some kind of steel pipe you could you could clip it on and have it as a work light and you can lay it on a on a bench and they make a mount you can buy for it that mounts right here you can use for bicycles and stuff like that um so you know it's multi-purpose but you know, i'd like to see a, a little magnet or maybe they can make a magnet accessory if they're they're watching this video make a a magnet clip or something to go uh, go on the light to hold it in positions where you know you're working with it i mean it's a great work light you don't it's got so so much power behind it and so so much intensity of brightness so many lumens you really don't need you know a traditional work light if you're going to be somewhere for you know 30 45 minutes working no need to drag out a drop cord because even on high you got two hours and your usb-c cord you can uh, plug it into your truck when you're driving between places and uh, have it charged back up so kind of eliminates a drop cord which is a good you know a good point and it even comes with a usb-c cord which is an accessory pack right here you see the cord down in there i've got power brick with all kinds of cords it's got an iso manual with it uh very good manual very descriptive so you know no complaints with the manual the little lanyard i mean it's, it's decent i've not really used it it's got a little spot ring strapped around your wrist and it'd be great for taking your dog out to walk at night or something like that or you hear you know a bear in the woods or whatever it's just you know good all-around flashlight i really like it it's held up well uh dropped it a little bit not on purpose it kind of slid off of a table i was working on uh, from where I had it sitting, got bumped onto the ground. It took an impact, no problem with that. Uh, didn't affect its, you know, its operation or anything. But you know, overall, I really like it. I'll have a uh, link in the description to the web manufacturer's website so you can look look it up. And uh, they've got other offerings besides this Falcon. They've got several different flashlights and accessories. And I also have an Amazon link in the description. But I have some uh, have some nighttime footage here here at the end i'll include panning around right now let's show you the night test of this woobin see how dark it is can you see your hand in front of your face up here without some kind of illumination or unless you got a little bit of a moon but it is no moon out right now uh got cloud cover so no stars or nothing but facing wood line uh 253 foot away from where i'm at so i'm gonna get the woobin i'm gonna start on eco mode make sure i'm pointing the right direction okay here we go on eco mode all right, there's eco mode. Now, if you can tell you, there's some, some illumination in front of the camera, but it's a flood beam. Off camera, you can see all kinds of stuff. This camera's just not picking it up. There's something a little closer. So we're, we're facing the same area we was 200, 250 feet away. So here's, that was eco. And let's go to low. There's low. You start making out, you see on camera, but you start making out shapes of the trees. And But off camera, you can actually see the trees. And then here's medium. Okay, there we go. Now you can see most of the tree. So, try to get it back a little better angle. There we go. You see most of the trees. That's, and then let's go to high. There's high right there. So there we go. So the tops of those trees pretty good. Let's pan around this wood line right here. Pretty bright, right? Here's the impressive part. Let's go to turbo. Boom, look at that. I get the focus here, sorry. Camera's trying to pick up the dark and get it focused. But anyhow, there you go. You can tell, surely, that's an impressive, uh, impressive amount of light being thrown down. Impressive. So sorry if it didn't present better on camera. It's not wanting to, uh, the way the light, the little, see the little moisture and dust particles floating around it's just not wanting to focus too great on it but there you go that's like daylight that's crazy probably gonna shine the bottom of them clouds nice 
back to the darkness. So you have to excuse me on that night footage. It wasn't it wasn't the best in the world, but you know I did what I what I can with what I had to work with. But yeah, easy 300 foot out in the woods. I mean it's it's crazy how bright this thing is. But yeah, real real good flashlight. Highly recommend it. And I want to thank Wubin for sending this flashlight to me to test. Much appreciated that they sent this to me. So it's going back in the uh, in the tool bag there. But this is definitely a keeper and uh, be using it from, from here on out and we'll see how she, how she holds up over time and if I see any complaints or any problems, any issues arise, I will update you accordingly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching the Aqua Mountain Homestead. If y'all are not subscribed, I'd greatly appreciate the subscription and please be sure to hit that like button. Any questions, go ahead and throw it in the comments. Y'all have a nice day.